Hey, what's up, people? Cobweb here with you. I got this new Masterverse Eternia, uh, new Eternia web store here today. If you see my last couple of videos, you know I've been really excited to open this one. Um, cool, cool little details and features on him that I'm excited to get into. Check that in a sec. Kind of gonna be kind of my unofficial mascot of this channel. He's Almost ended up be part of my logo design. So I really love the character and the cobweb would have fit in nice with that. But ended up going with something else. We'll check out the side artwork here. Got him up in the cave. Same thing on the back. Back him up a little bit. Beautiful artwork as always. So you gotta get that bio in there if you want to check it out. Give you that Star Wars view. <laughs> Like Star Wars intro view in, in reverse. Yeah, really awesome character. Kind of a B-list villain, I would say. Not many appearances in, like, Filmation. I think he was in, like, three episodes. But really underrated. I just think he's got such cool, cool look to him. And the dark blue and the red eyes and everything always just kind of popped out to me. And then this one's going to have some of these extra little arms up here. We'll check out when we open them up. I think he first started getting those in like the 2000X cartoon, which is really cool. And then Classic sat on their figure, and it's kind of kind of became a thing now. I know with the Origins, I got my Origins one over here as well. Origins, you go on Etsy and get some little attachment. Kind of do the same thing on the back for spider legs. I might look into doing something like that later, but we'll... We'll put him up next to him in a minute for a comparison as well. I'll open him up and we'll start checking him out. Alright, and here he is. He stands out of the box. I'll bring him a little closer in one sec. I'll show off his accessory real quick. Got this grappling gun, which is a little different than what we usually have with all our other web stores. It usually has this grappling hook that's kind of just into his backpack and I'll show you on my origins here in a second. He's got that feature where you slide up and down. Didn't go with that with this. It's kind of cool though. Um, let me we'll just check it out right now. Let's see. I know it's got. Okay, it's got some hinge joints on here. Open up the grappling hook. And then also, it can attach to here, it looks like. So when you want to set them up, let me get that focus again. Okay, yeah, so you set up the setup ready to go like that. A couple other little things. I know this comes apart, and then you can actually take this off over here. Pretty sure. Give me one sec. Okay, it took me a little sec. Popped it off. My hands are a little sweaty, so that's connected on here. Pop it off. And I guess you put this right onto here. Then you have him kind of hanging from anywhere you want, hanging straight down, put his hand through here, swinging off the castle or anything. And let me see. Okay, something else I went and looked back at the box because I wasn't sure. I thought there might be some other little things it did. Um, not what I was expecting. It does look like there's something on the box I'm about to check out, and I'm not sure if anybody else has really done this at all. Not that I've seen, because I have seen this character and haven't seen this really done yet. We'll check him up, check him out up close real quick, because I'm going to be taking him apart to try something out. So here he is, and he has these translucent eyes that are like inside the head sculpt, which are really cool. I don't know how well it's coming off. If I keep him in the light a little more, they're real shiny, and then he's got the extra two. Two little eyes up here. Very cool looking. And I just love his armor. His armor's got this purple metallic paint to it. They've been doing that a lot with this Masterverse. These last uh, couple waves, few figures. Seeing some of this metallic paint that looks really cool. Then he's got these extra arms like I was talking about. Like 2000X and they're articulated on here. They don't bend anywhere else on the arm. Which I thought they might but in and out like this everywhere on him so you could you could swivel them back and forth and then in and out like this 
But what I'm going to check out is it looks like these might, yeah, they come out. Let's take two of them out and I'll show you what I saw in the box. All right, I'm going to bring this in kind of close real quick. When I was looking at this, I was fiddling with the gun because there's all kinds of little pegs and everything on here. So I was trying to see what all it went to and what was you could do different. But on the box, on the bottom, it shows you take off a couple of those claws. Because I was wondering what these holes might be for, if they were for anything. And it looks like you can snap these into it, which is pretty cool. You get like a spider claw full. So let me put that into his hand real quick. Alright, bring him back in. Yeah, so this is pretty cool looking, I think. I like this. Like I said, like, reminds me of Clawful. And we got Clawful on the line too, so. Let me turn this light back on real quick. Got Clawful on the line as well. So I many LGs are posing with the two of them together, clamping out with each other. So that's something I don't think I've seen yet. He actually maybe attach his gun into the middle of there too. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that right now. But cool looking new idea. If you guys haven't seen that before, then something else you could do with them. It's pretty badass, I think. And he'll still have his other two arms up here. Don't really notice him missing the bottom ones. Let me back him up a little more. So yeah, that's another cool little feature. Like I said, there's, <laughs> I knew there'd be a few things on here, but I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Alright, I'm um, actually back with one more little quick feature that I just realized. Um, you take the back off of this figure as well, and you can kind of do what I was talking about with the Origins one. You could have his, he's got this little peg right here, and you can attach this grappling hook to it. Nice. So if you feed it up, it's got these two little edges right here. Feed it up kind of right in the middle of that. And attach this back on it. I don't think this has a direction. I think it goes either way. And snap that into place. And then it is like your original Webster, except you don't have the little action feature to make it retractable. Get them all tangled up here. But that is another way you could pose them up. If you want to have him hanging from something just by his backpack, it's pretty, pretty cool too. So yeah, a lot to this figure. I was surprised. I did not know that he's going to have so much I could do with them. So this will be fun to play with later. So I'll show you that again. Oh, stuck to the back. So yeah, open that up and you got that little peg and just attach that to it. Pretty nifty. So, all right, now I will bring in the Origins. We'll check them out. All right, so there he is, side by side with the Origins one. Um, pretty close in blue tone. That dark blue is what he's kind of known for. There's not many other characters with that darker blue like that. I think he's a little darker than Hordak even. Let's show you real quick on here. There's that action feature I was talking about with original. Whoops, lost a weapon, but. He actually has a lot of string for this one. Pull it down. Yeah, and you get it's a little stiff, but how the action feature where you pull it and you go up and down. So that I can see why it's not on here. It'd be kind of a lot of work to make work. And I think what he came with is pretty cool the way it is. You know, we'll take them apart and Deck them all out different ways, the removable arms to make the claw, all cool stuff. I think I'll just finally just throw them up here, give them a little spin around, you check them out 360. Alright, here's gonna be my last little look at them. Spin them around, give them that 360. Um, yeah, overall, very awesome character. I love this whole design of him, from the colors to sculpt on the head, those translucent eyes. All the effects you get with the arms and the grappling gun, be able to take it apart and rearrange it any way you want to have them swing and hang in any direction from wherever you want. It's just really, really cool. So yeah, he's going to be my, my mascot for the channel now. <laughs> Webster on the Cobweb channel.
But thank you guys for checking out. Um, if you like what I'm doing, you know, do all the good YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, share, comment, all that. Um, thank you so much for checking out, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.